Hi everyone, I am Cemal Bulunmaz, your jewelry professional and you are watching our video series of Pazalux Diamond Tools. I will use three tools in this video. Two are Pazalux tools, uh, two different models. I will introduce each of them. And the other one is magic wheel tool to make the background design of my ring. I will use a nine millimeter uh, big wedding ring just to show you the surface so you can understand more about this model. And I will uh, use my Bulunmaz late machine. I will fix my ring first on the late machine. Just fix it. And then I will not use uh, this attachment part with magic wheel tool. So that's why I'm taking it the other side. And I'm taking it away so I can use my magic wheel easily here. Our late machine is a simple solution. As you can see, it takes really small place in your workshop. You have to, you just need a half meter place. You can, it's a uh, vertical machine. So you can fix it in any small places in your even small workshop. So that's a really good solution. I'm starting the machine and uh, that's all handwork. I'm starting my design. Here you see the color is changing, that means I'm applying my magic wheel. I just completed magic wheel tool. If you know about our magic tool, uh, magic wheel tool is plated with diamond, so that diamond powder steers that uh, background finishing on the rings. I'm going to the next step, 2mm 180 tool for the sides of the ring. I will clean left and right side of my ring. So I have to correct this attachment back. I'm taking it back so I can put my tool and it's really easy process. Here I will fix my tool. Now I will go to the next operation. That's my second tool, 2 mm 180, 2 mm flat tool. I'm first cleaning the right side. That means uh, it's a, you see, it's like a border. Yeah, now I change the other side. That's only one touch. Then do the other side. Second tool is uh, finished. So my ring is done with the left and right side of the ring. I didn't finish my model, but uh, even this form is, I can consider a model. You can put this ring in your catalog, but now I will use a third tool. I will put a little design on the center with facet tool. My last tool, the hero of that video is 2mm 5 facet tool. 2mm means, as you know, already the size of the diamond. My diamond is 2mm size. That's a good size for wedding rings because our surface is small, so 2 mm is perfect. 1, 2 mm is the right choice. And the 5 facet means there are facets on the surface of my diamond. There are like 5 phases. So it gives a uh, disco ball effect. So I can sh uh, tell that when the light comes, it, you will see many different shines. You will see now. I'm starting and let's see. I will cut it only one side. Here you go, that was all. Here you can see the phases, there are five phases. Of course my camera is not good enough, my lighting is not really professional, but you can still see the light shining. If you look carefully, you even see my hand and my iPhone camera on the reflection. You can have facet tools in different uh, sizes and Facet sizes, we have one, 1 1.5 to 3 millimeter sizes. You see the reflection, it's uh, reflecting the light of the room in different, uh, different directions. We have different options for facet tool. We have one, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5 and 3 millimeter sizes, uh, the size of the diamond. We have different facet options, three facet, five facet or even seven facet if you need more shine just have a look at our website bulunmaz.com you will find all the different models and you will get more idea about our tools i hope you like this video 
That was uh, our first series about Puzzle Loops Diamond Tools. If you want more uh, video series, just comment us on the comments below. Write us what uh, other tools, what other machines you want to see in our videos about different jewelry technologies. Thank you so much for watching us. See you soon again in the next video or anywhere in the world.